do it. It is popping here in Central Park. Lots going on. We're going to be, begin with movie news, though. Filming of the new James Bond movie has been suspended after star Daniel Craig suffered an injury on set. According to the British paper, The Sun, Craig fell while shooting a scene in Jamaica. He was flown back to the U.S. for x-rays, a source adding he was in a lot of pain. It appears to be his ankle. Craig, well known for performing many of his own stunts. He had two teeth knocked out while shooting Casino Royale. He sliced the tip of a finger and tore his shoulder on Quantum Solace. Maybe it's time Give to it let up. the stunt man. Yeah, let the body Take it but you know, good for him. He loves doing it. No word yet on when filming will resume. The new Bond movie is set to debut April 8th. We wish him the best. I hope he's Full okay. Media yeah. 2020, April 8th, 2020. Uh, Game of Thrones. I know we're all very sad. It's about to be over, but fans. This morning I come bearing good news for you. The Thrones creators will take all of that angst, all of that genius, and put it into a whole new world. No, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> come on. Specifically, the world of Star Wars. So excited about that. Disney CEO Bob Iger confirming that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss will direct the next trilogy of Star Wars films. This extends the story beyond the nine parts originally ah. conceived by George Lucas. Disney aiming for a 2022 release of the first Benioff and Weiss Star Wars film. We have to wait till 2022? Yes, Something to look forward to. Yeah. Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can handle it. Uh, and guys, remember all the drama surrounding the Oscars, especially back in January, Fuck when, of course, Kevin Most Hart announced right. that he wouldn't do it. Everyone wondered who would possibly do it at such short notice or whether the Oscars could work without a host at all. As we saw, the answer was, uh, yeah, it actually worked great. The ratings were up 12% this year. Now, ABC Entertainment head, Carrie Burke, has just announced, and I quote, we will not mess with that format. In other words, the 2020 Oscars could be hostless, freeing it up for more celeb presenters, a more freewheeling style. Burke, though, did keep the door open for one person. Who, who is that? Who, what person? Jimmy Kimmel. Ah. Uh, if Jimmy wants uh, to do it, it sounds like Jimmy can do it. He has said he would not do it again, but if he does, we would be thrilled. We'll find out next year at the Oscars. But it worked last year. It did. It, did. it totally it worked. Bad. I loved it. We were there. I was there backstage. It was fun. People had a ball. Seemed a little it more was, relaxed. It and people just were there. It had, it, it, it had a very uh, different vibe. Yeah. So um, win-win. Either no host or the host or, being Jimmy Kimmel. Yes. Win-win. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then finally, guys, have you ever considered which American accent is the sexiest? Well, American accent. Which American accent? No, not the French. <laughs> Today we're talking American. A travel company called Big 7 conducted a survey, a big survey, a million people for the definitive answer. The list might surprise you. 50 accents considered. Here are your top three sexiest. At number three, give it up for New York! Come on, New Yorkers! <laughs> oh, you, you took out your audience! Defined. Oh, Lara, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> Defined by the long vowels. One million voters can't be wrong. Volga Island. Come, coming in at, no, well, we'll talk about that Good next. Enough. Coming in at number two, the beloved Boston accent. Uh, ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Fuck. Matt Damon couldn't agree more. But the top spot goes I bet it's Texas. to my friend, Texas. the tangy, the, the twangy Texas drawl. Come on, how y'all doing? Yes, described <laughs> as a southern accent with a twist, strong R's, plenty of howdies. Voters found it friendly and cute in both men and women. All righty. There you go. Unfortunately, last two spots, it cuts close to home. New Jersey came in at oh. number 49 Ooh. and coming in at last place. My homeland, my people, my accent. Okay. Long Island. Strong oh, Island. Strong, strong Island. We can handle strong it. Long Island. Only miles from New York City, apparently a world away. Voters didn't. They don't love our nasally notes. I don't know why. Our W's <laughs> that should be O's, like dog and coffee. Alec Baldwin, Jerry Seinfeld, and me, Lara Spencer, would like to strongly disagree. And that everyone is pop news. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.